Hello everybody, hello from Londoners. Right now we're in front of an iconic place, 221B, which has been used for the famous sequel Sherlock Holmes. Being inspired by this, we wanted to ask people what their favorite movie is and the reason. Let's go. So what is your favorite movie and why? Oh my gosh, um, uh, Forrest Gump. Oh wow, amazing answer, why? Um, because I find it inspiring and it makes you feel like not to give up easily on life. Cool. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a great day. Uh, favorite movie? Because, you know, I haven't watched a movie in the cinema for a long time. But I think, uh, do you know the Benjamins? Uh, Benjamin Button? Yeah, Benjamin Button's adventure story. Yes, I think it's a very, uh, it's a very <laughs> how to say, it's very. Uh, this the meaning of this movie is really giving me a lot of insights about the life. You know, uh, the movie is about a man who was born when he's 80 years old when when he was born, and he his life is adverse uh, from other people, and he he loved a woman. And then at, the, at maybe at 30 or 20, they missed it. They, they, they are at the same age, and it's a rom romantic time of their I, I get what you mean. The yeah. reverse psychology is so meaningful, right? Yeah. So, what's your favorite movie and why? Oh, it's Sherlock a new Holmes. movie, yeah, about Sherlock Holmes. And of course, with the, oh my god, how this actor calls. Uh, I, I don't remember. Tony John Jr. or Benedict Cumberbatch? Oh, about Benedict Cumberbatch. I love Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, I love it. Okay. And how about you? She's uh, she <laughs> not. <Yeah. laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a difficult question. What's yours? I have no idea. Just think about it. Like, what really inspired you when you watched it? What, what affected you? Like, when I think comes to your mind first? Well, probably Inception. Okay, cool. <laughs> and why? Um, I mean, this is kind of disturbing. <laughs> and uh, when you're watching it, it's uh, very... I mean, you need to concentrate, but it is very interesting. And I'll be, in the end, uh, you don't know what really happens. So, yeah, but... Uh, I, it's I, something you can't forget. Yeah, exactly. How about you? Yeah, uh, I agree also. Interstellar. Because, Interesting. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's a very good movie, Christopher Nolan. Wow. I like the real that uh, I love Matthew McConaughey and I love space. So, yeah. <laughs> cool. How about you? Oh, I can't think of one at the moment. You don't have to think like, just think about what affected you the most, like what just left a sentiment in you. Uh, I think there is this movie, Life is Beautiful. Yeah, it's, uh, I watched it when I was, I think, in fifth grade and it's really affected me. Uh, it's it's about the concentration camp camp of Jews. Favorite movie? Oh God, um, I don't know. What's your favorite movie? Uh, Planet of the Apes. Oh, cool. Why? Yeah, um, because it's just a well built, well made uh, movie. To be honest, it's well structured. I really like. It. Thank you very much. How about you? Um, probably Harry Potter. Hey. <laughs> yes. Tell me the reason. Uh, I mean, the story is honestly just great, and like the way that they like brought the book to life and stuff. So that's just what makes it great. I don't have a favorite movie. Okay. What is the movie that has affected you the most? Uh, I'm not a big movie person, so I wouldn't really know. The Hangover, yeah. The Hangover. <laughs> <laughs> the Hangover. Um, I, I know. I can't. Answer. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Yeah, The Hangover was a pretty good answer. And why? Why is that? Um, because it uh, reflects my life sometimes. <laughs> I was expecting the answer Sherlock Holmes and someone said it. Just because we're in front of 221B, that would be a shame not to hear Sherlock Holmes or Benedict Cumberbatch. Most of the answers were iconic movies. And once again, we had so much fun getting to know what people think and feel and go through. I'll see you in the next video of Londoners. Take care. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Londonist's YouTube channel.